Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just out at our runoff. Um, just coming to check on the heifers and the calves. Uh, just see how much grass we've got ahead of us, see when we need to start feeding out some silage. Um, and a previous video I did say that we were, um, we'd sown some grass at our runoff. And what we've done is we've uh, just direct drilled some Hogan, which is an annual, uh, grows really well during the winter. Um, you just direct drilled it, so we just grazed it off and then direct drilled it. Um, this is the first time I've actually been able to see um, how it's growing. So you can see lines of it just there, just going across the camera there. Um, yeah, so this is this is some of it here. So it's an annual, so it's quite um, has quite a big leaf on it. Uh, it lasts for about a year to two years. So we're planning on. So we've only done four. Hectares, I think I got enough seed to do four hectares, and we will. Um, if if this works out well, we'll end up doing a third of the runoff every year, just um, so that we got a bit more feed on hand for the winter. Because we eat a lot of grass out here with wintering cows out here. Um, so part of the reason for targeting this paddock was it had a lot of. flat weeds so we had a lot of dock so this is dock and then I'm not sure what this weed is I'm sure someone could tell me um, plantain this is plantain it's not really a weed but the problem I have with it is it grows really well and if you pull this so that plantain plant if you pull it back like that there's a lot of ground it's not growing anything um, so what happens is when you eat that off eat that off you expose a lot of dirt so it gives a chance for um, weeds to grow so yeah, plantain is good it grows really well in the summer but that's the only downside I, I have with it so yeah and also this paddock here had a lot of uh, clover See, you can see the clover, if you look on the screen there's a lot of clover, and when it came to break feeding it, there wasn't a lot in here because the clover had seemed to have smothered all the ryegrass out, so, um, yeah, so that's why we're doing it, and I'm really happy to see that the Trojan is starting to come through, not the Trojan, sorry, the Hogan. So this has been planted and then grazed once already and the calves are grazing uh, the last paddock of it so now it'll just get a chance to grow so it'll be interesting to see how it will go. Um, in the next few months when it starts cooling down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and take a look at um, the calves and the heifers while I'm here. See how they're getting on. But it's a really nice day here in Waihi. Not crang a hecky. And you can't quite see it, but Mount Tierra is just behind the hill there. Nice cool breeze. Watch. That's when you know that um, winter is not too far away. But we're getting nice days now, so that's good. Cool. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos, uh, Family Farming and Fun. And uh, we'll see you another time. Bye.